Yeah, Footlube. basically. So I Would saw this show up on... Uh, when, when, when I watch... Foot, listen, Footlube. Ben, I have watched Footloose Footlube. multiple times. <laughs> Footloose. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Ben, that's Jordan, that's Pedro, and together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, sitting at home, I remember the button this week, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. I didn't get quite for Cocaine Voltron, I don't want to be like, oh, you're selling out, Ben. Dude, do you know what YouTube, <laughs> we have YouTube Studio, right? Because we have mm-hmm. 5,000 subscribers. <sighs> Hey, big money. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I was joking last week because they have a recommendations for you and in the mm-hmm. upper hand corner. And last week, YouTube just kind of came out with it. And they're like, you know what would really help your channel out? And I'm like, I don't know, YouTube. What would really help our channel out if you bought some ads? And I'm just saying, you know, and I'm like, well, at least you're finally being up front with it. Today, I logged in to get things set up for the show. It's like, hey, we have a new school to help you follow trending topics to make videos about trending topics. Uh, so you don't even give a damn about nope. what the channel's about. Just, just chase it. <laughs> nope. Chase it, baby. Chase, chase the algorithm, algorithm right? <laughs> Jump on that bandwagon. You'll get rich, right? Uh, right? So I got a new boom arm. I, I got that uh, Elgato. Mm. Um, but yeah, Elgato, right? Yeah. yeah Stream Deck, Elgato. Elgato. I got to, it's pretty cool. It's made. Right. I, I got a Amazon warehouse deal on it. Okay. So, and I had a fifty dollar Amazon gift card, so it cost me like thirty bucks or something like that. Nice. Built way better than I thought. All right, here's a what I will say about it because I expected it to be kind of plasticky and cheap. You know, it's Elgato. No offense, Elgato, but they just kind of put their name on other stuff. And uh, no, this thing's like solid metal. It's got like magnetic magnetic holders for it's, um, it's a miracle yeah the uh mic cables get back on there do things snap click <laughs> oh so you, you you can like run them through the arm and just like yeah it's yeah, like nice. my, I, I don't have to desolder the, uh, <laughs> the xlrs to no. run the cable <laughs> no by the way i i, I want to thank Ortheron for that one that sure that fell on my foot because it was real funny i had the foresight to uh set up a camera when i was uh swapping this out just i'm gonna put that video up for patrons and um there was a great shot of me with that with that old arm, the mm-hmm. sure arm, like sitting on the corner of the desk there. And as I walk by, it tumbles off <laughs> and misses me. And I'm like, you missed my foot, which if you don't know, when I first got it, I opened the box and it fell right on my foot and like smashed my foot up. It was kind of fun. Uh, I had a good laugh at that. Didn't destroy anything. But yeah, uh, uh, if you're looking for a low profile, like swing arm, It's pretty cool. Yeah, you can hit stuff like I just did because I'm not used to it yet. (laughs) What's the height on that from the desk? I like that. All right. (laughs) And and the mechanism for like screwing it in is like very well built and it doesn't have sharp, pointy, stabby things. That's good. Boo. (laughs) I I, want to come up with like a handful of blood from this. Uh, It's usually on my head from that shore mic because it just had like, uh, you know, right. uh, Mm. Oh, I clocked myself like caught. Oh, and just nasty a couple of times. But that's all I got going on. Jordan, you got a surprise gift from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you know the um, that 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 old eighty one fifty that Ven gave me the 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 system that that's been in has been like I've I've basically had that since college in one way, shape, or form or another. The it's kind of been like ship a thesis out, so the motherboard is the orig- only original part, and it's it's starting to give up the ghost. So I'm like, all right, well, I can I can procrastinate more. Or I can just you know buy a system, a 5600G system off Amazon, and uh, just re- replace the guts. And so and so I did. It shows up, and uh, the 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 motherboard is uh, missing the the CPU mount. Uh, so that that's fun. And I call I called Amazon. They're like, yeah, we're just gonna send you a new one. So now I have a, I have a bonus motherboard. I, <laughs> so now now I gotta go track down like a CPU and some memory because now it's like. Oh well, I can't. I can't just like leave this motherboard empty. No. It, it'll get. It'll get lonely. I know. I gotta give it some friends. <laughs> you should get one of those um, Athlon APU chips. You can't. You can't get them anymore. They're, Why? they're fucking sold out. Huh? Like the <laughs> yeah. two core ones? Yeah. Yeah. I've I've looked. They're the gone. One with the white box. 
Yeah, like the three thousand or the thirty two hundred, something like that. Yeah, we're, we're talking like the fifty dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, those got scooped, man. Like, oh man, because like because you needed to flash motherboards for a while, right? They they were great for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the 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 other thing that happened this week that was kind of neat was we uh, we got we got free tickets to like Black Panther in Symphony, so they like show you the film, but they have like a live symphony orchestra doing doing the soundtrack. Oh, that's neat. And, yeah, and what, what 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 was extra neat is they had um so there's like a there's a instrument uh, called the tama or the talking drum and it was like featured prominently in the soundtrack and so they actually got the dude from Senegal who was like the 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 tama player who like wrote a lot of wrote a lot of the music for the soundtrack uh, specifically for for that drum they had him like show up and do his parts too mm. which was pretty neat so right on. Um, yeah not 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 a thing not a thing i would do normally but like we got we someone was like yeah i can't make it to this thing you want free tickets I'm like, all right yeah so no. why not yeah how about you pedro no, mateus anything new anything exciting anything moving around over there well i did put down a deposit for a car <laughs> as a uh, first step to getting out of cambridge and actually moving outside of the city so that i have a way to reliably get to the office need a car first can it tow a caravan? Uh, yes. Uh, up to, I think it's a ton. If it's mm. less than a ton, it's fine. <laughs> so are you going to live that RV life? Yeah. No. <laughs> it doesn't have the, uh, the trailer hitch set up. It has the, uh, opening yeah, for it, shire. but <laughs> it's not, uh, it doesn't actually have like the little hook. Oh point. man. That, that, that's what we need for rings of power. Season two is like Bilbo shows up with like a fucking like, <laughs> It's like a fucking RV. Like, hey guys, I figured out a way we don't have to walk anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, we're ba- I'm basically just waiting. Um, they said they would let me know on Monday because they had to do like the MOT inspection and everything else. Uh, so yeah, the, they've done the inspection. Uh, the, I'm going to have to find a uh, rear exhaust uh, heat shield for it, which I have already looked it up online. It's like 30 pounds. So even if you add the labor of setting it in place at a shop it'll probably not be terribly expensive so that's good that's very good <laughs> you think we'll ever um, be able to teach the horse how to drive the horse doesn't need a license it's laws don't apply to it it's the steam laws do apply to uh copyrighted images and resources this is uh this is uh an interesting uh consequence uh that has come out of uh valve this week uh comes from a reddit post on ai game dev that says valve is not willing to publish games with ai generated content and so basically uh the guy posts the uh the response he got from valve and it says hey uh we have no way of verifying if you actually own the rights to the training data there may be some copyright infringement here uh, because we don't want to like take on this risk, we're just not allowing any AI uh, generated content or games with AI generated content on Steam unless you can prove to us that you own all of the information for the training data. And earlier in the week, so far, it seemed like this was like a uh, uh, not not a super consistent response from Valve because there are games with AI generated content on the marketplace currently. But it seems that they've they, they're starting to make a decision on this now. Um, yeah. It, 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 makes sense and if i guess if you're a big enough studio that you can afford to just have your own data set and feed that to whatever uh is generating that art great but if you're just the one person and as as much as i want to believe that you know if you're the one developer and you're using AI to just help you create the rest of the game because you're not that great an artist or you're not that great a writer or whatever, that could be a really good use case for it. Unfortunately, that's not what's happening because most of the games that have been removed have been very small, cash grabby type of things, or- kind of like the NFT games that showed up that Valve also said, no, we're not going to do that. Mm. Or, or even even then, there's just the matter of like companies uh, like if if you're not an indie developer, they uh, companies will hide behind that excuse and be like, oh yeah, well obviously we don't have to pay for our artists and writers because we're just going to use all this uh, procedurally generated AI content, right? So, I yeah, it, it, it's 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 a nuanced thing. They're still like 
like the, the, the copyright question is still up in the air, which I think is why Valve is like just making a stance on this thing. Like until until the dust settles, we're just going to like not open ourselves up to this. Well, you, you get that, but you also get to think, um, you know, I, I went reading through all the comments and like Valve gave the chance uh, this particular developer a way out. They're like, hey, if you swap out the assets, it's good. What they did is they went over and like painted over it. And I, I imagine it was like that uh, lady who tried to improve that. Uh, Oh, the, the, Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. the painting of Jesus that looks too much like me without the beard. Yeah. And he like smeared about it and like, here, look, I fixed it. And they're like, no, we said replace. So the night and like, you yeah, know, obey, comply and all that fun stuff. But this does open up a very interesting conversation about products like Adobe Firefly, mm. which is trained on stuff that has Adobe's blessing. Like this is all ours. We got it on lock. This comes from us. All of these data sets, we will vouch for them. Then what do you do? Well, like, I, I, I guess if you have uh, the proof of having bought the license from Adobe for Firefly, then you just present that and Valve goes, oh, okay. Well, and, and like, <laughs> uh, and like, there, there's still cases where like you can use mixed content. Like some of this came from Firefly, some of this came from another source, right? Like, I, I imagine like there, ne there needs to be some kind of verification system in place where you like submit your evidence. It will need to obviously be reviewed by a human because what you're going to have an AI judge the AI yes. work. Every time <laughs> yes. they do that, th th this is how the, this is our chat GPT passes all of these fucking like uh, SATs because they have another <laughs> chat GPT actually grade it. But like, um, well, I mean, we still got a long ways to go. Yeah. Um, like earlier this week, I was using stable diffusion because I was like, hey, you know what? I got an idea. I need a picture of a uh, scientist holding a boom box, right? Mm for a video I'm working on. I'm like, well, let me see what this can generate. And boy, I was remembered about the hands there, man. Um, oh yeah, the <laughs> mm, sausage uh, fingers. <laughs> oh dude, here, take a look at this. Like that doesn't- <sighs> like, I have no mouth and I must scream. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't even have words. I don't even have words. Like the rest of it, pretty decent, pretty decent. Sure. You know, I added some shades on, I'm like, cool looking dude. Then I got to the hands and I'm like, oh no, you know what? We're, oh, we're just no. going to go to Shutterstock and I'm going to get me a scientist the old fashioned way and get me a boom box and we're going to go into GIMP and put it back together. But yeah, they're going to have to put some, I mean, this is going to become more prevalent. Like this is the brave new world, like it or not. It's not going anywhere, you know? Well, and, and again, the, 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 there's like a lot of the conversation of like, yes, you should absolutely use this as like an enhancement tool, but you should not use this as a replacement tool. And I, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of that conversation that needs to get settled as well, in terms of like how because like look at like um Spider Verse the the first Spider Verse they used uh, AI extensively in the in the creative in the creation of uh, the first one, uh but uh and and that and that wasn't really an issue because they were it was AI under the controls of artists and stuff like that but once it moves to business trying to like take out artists I don't know well I mean like. What do you do like in a situation like this where it's just a small indie developer? It's like you want programmer art or if you this got a is, data Yeah, set? this is the use case that I could see. It, it the, I the, really the, want and, and, AI to be a tool for the lone developer to be I, able to focus on the thing that they but want to do. You you you, you know EI is gonna like fucking hide behind this while they're slashing their artist yeah. budgets and they're like firing <laughs> people. So like they're gonna do that anyway though. Yes, I but mean, now we, we, we don't, don't, nothing, don't give them this excuse. The um, but yeah, I, I could see like you know if you're building like a small indie game or something like that, and your art budget's Fiverr. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? maybe you know like if you get enough money, and like yeah, just Steam, you you got to get something to kind of like get lined up with this because like we're gonna see more and more of this, and it's good for prototyping stuff too. Yeah. Rap, 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 prototyping and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like the, 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 tool, the tools are good and useful. It's just the, the, the usage of them. That's always going to be the tricky bit. Well, something um, that is also a tricky bit, not for Jordan, but for me. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just a pro. Is this latest. You, you, you flip that switch far better than I ever dreamed of because when I did it, it just kind of exploded. Steam client beta, June 29th, uh, a couple of things in this big picture mode fixes, screenshot manager, privacy dropdown selector, local screenshots. All this, but two weeks later, we get down to the Linux bits, and you can finally launch the UI without the extra command glyphs that we talked about, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, you, and, you, and you needed that. <laughs> yeah. You get some extra big, chunky text, and uh, they fixed a the case where the overlay could have some issues with DPI scaling, which Jordan, you encountered that as well. Yes, where, yeah, it was, where, where, where you, it shows you text that you can't click on. That was, right. that was fun. And uh, 
you know, text get clipped with DPI scaling enabled and disabling DPI scaling via settings wouldn't have any effect. Now, armed with all this, it's like, you know what? I'm going to re-enable GPU acceleration. I, I feel a little brave. And I did, and it pff, disappeared again. U, UI just goes away. Disappears. All I have is the dock steam icon to which I cannot open anything in. And eventually you can cheese it to get a window open, and it opens in the old UI. For some mm. reason, there has to be some fallback mode that eventually gets triggered where it's like, fine, then you can disable it. Jordan, on the other hand, you're running what, GNOME? Uh, yeah, uh, GNOME, GNOME 3, Fedora 37. I just updated to kernel 6.4 and the latest numerical NVIDIA drivers, not the last ones that they released, because that was like 525, Whalen, the latest 5. Or X. X. X, man. What type of question X. is that? Yeah. Um... But yeah, no, it's AMD uh, user. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I mean all, all of my other AMD systems are on Wayland and my Intel systems. This it's, it's just Nvidia. Nvidia is the dinosaur here. But yeah, no, I I uh, I, I had meant to do it and Ben reminded me in the pre-pre super shows and I was like, hey, turn on hardware acceleration. What'll happen? I'm like, hmm, let's find out. I'm waiting, I'm clicking around, nothing. So at, at least it, it works for me, I guess. And yeah. Go 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 Fedora, boo W, I guess. <sighs> I, I kind of feel we touched on this in the pre pre super shows and go back and listen to that if you're a patron, but uh, they, they I feel like this could use like a little more time in the oven because they're still hammering out some like major issues, but it's do you think it's just like it's just such a major overhaul of the UI? I mean I I, I think that's definitely that's definitely a part of it of just like uh now because now now especially uh with the Mac, Windows, and Linux clients, they're all basically like based on the same version of, of mm-hmm. the Steam client mm-hmm. now. So yeah, when once you, once you have a unified code base like that, um, it's it's good for long term maintenance. But yes, bugs can creep up, especially like cross platform. So they're they're getting fixed. I I was saying before, I actually really like the changes. I, I think like no, no, normally when like YouTube or whatever changes their UI or GitHub or whatever, it's like mm-hmm. where where the fuck is everything? This was all like pretty pretty tame. Like I think uh, one of my selfish worries is um, a lot more work is going to be going in because of the Steam Deck. Uh, is uh, development on Wayland and AMD mm-hmm. versus X and NVIDIA, which is the majority of the desktop market on Linux. And like, we're going to get like, you know, they're like, well, you know what? We'll just switch over to Wayland. Go buy an AMD card, punk. <laughs> That's the thing. It's, it, uh, NVIDIA just actually needs to release a version of their settings uh, to that works on Wayland because right now, you can launch the Wayland session, but if you open the NVIDIA settings, you get a window with mm-hmm. nothing in it. I mean, NVIDIA's <laughs> writing that being a dick about the Wayland thing as long as they can, man. Like, yeah, yeah. It, I, 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 I don't get it. But, the, but going back to uh, Steam, the thing that I noticed is that uh, if you have multiple screenshots that you were trying to upload, when they change to the new UI... It would reset the uh, like if you wanted to make it public or private only. Every single screenshot that you selected, it would reset every time. They just finally changed. They finally made it work like it used to. Now it remembers. Oh, you wanted to make public, so the next one you select, it's also defaults to public. Oh, nice. thank you. <laughs> I never share screenshots. I, I I was playing around that with the earlier today because we do the uh, Trek Mania. We were playing last night and uh, we won uh, like the competitive like three-way type thing mm-hmm. and i took a screenshot and i'm like oh can i make that public and all that that's first time i've ever played with that how do you enter the comment in that field and make it stick uh you uh, on the new ui i'm not sure i, I usually I'm just do either because from... there's no button and i'm like <laughs> maybe it's just one of those adaptive things where you type in the comment and it just stayed uh-uh. yeah, i know once you upload it on the uh screenshot manager for the web version you can just add the little description at the bottom uh, but i don't know yeah, from the screenshot from the manager i don't know <laughs> we like playing footy as long as cars. it doesn't involve uh you know the actual emulation or simulation of uh, an actual game yeah, of football. i was talking about rubbing I, our I, toes I, I, together I, I, you weirdo what do you as, 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 long, as oh, long as there footsie. are no okay yeah, <laughs> as long as there are no feet involved <laughs> Yeah, basically. So I Would saw this show up th- on. No. But when, when I watch foot, listen, <laughs> Ben, I have watched Footloose foot multiple times. <laughs> Footloose. Uh, no, I saw this show up on Twitter. Uh, there's a, a couple of bots that 
present the uh, latest games that are uh, released on Steam, and this one, it, it's not released yet, but the uh, the Steam page went up. Driving Strikers, they've already uh, got one strike that they have a store page without a video on it. Naughty, naughty. But yeah, it is. We have Rocket League at home. Which, you know, doesn't look terrible. And this is the like we little... have Rocket League at home made in the Quake engine. Yeah, mm -hmm. it kind of looks like PS1, <laughs> PS2 era, the... Dreamcast-ish. The isometric view might be interesting. We'll see once it has a demo or something that we can play. But the thing that I noticed is that the little thumbnail down the side with driving strikers used to have two not quite legally distinct Toyota Salikas on them. Uh, and it's gone now. Now it's just got the little soccer ball with driving strikers as a title. Did they change it out of their own accord or did they get told to change it? That's my question. <laughs> I don't know. It does have the thing, though. Like, we, we've seen too many it racing does. games being released on Steam that do not have any sort of online multiplayer, which is like, but, but why? That's because, the, I mean, you just, like, we, we've learned the past couple of years, you just get everybody over the house. Yeah, Come hang out in the group. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. Uh -huh. uh, but the, the system requirements are pretty <laughs> modest, too. You need OpenGL 2.1 and a 1 gigahertz processor and a relatively Yeah, no, it, it really does look like it was made in the Quake 3 engine. <laughs> I, I mean, it has that vibe, or maybe like um, early Unreal type something like that. Again, this could be a blast to play. I look forward to uh, testing it out when you get it mm -hmm. released. Now, this next thing coming up, I, I saw the top of this, and I'm like, oh lord, they gave him the Dead Cells guy a gun. Yes, it's 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 not Paranaeum, it's Extraneum. Uh, they got they got a new version out. Um, the uh, it's not point oh, or not point eleven. They got a new level E two M two. No, uh, no, at, at Tomb's Gates. I don't know. Uh, if you're, they also fix some bugs where if you're moving too fast, you can no longer clip through walls. And uh, you can't escape from boss rooms either because before you could cheese them by going in, shooting them, and leaving, and they couldn't leave, but you could. Uh, so now, now when you get in a boss room, the door closes behind you and you have to actually deal with them. We have a copy uh, of this, don't we? Or not? Mm -hmm. Do we have a copy of this? This video game that we're talking about right now, they, Pedro? Did, did they, I, I they haven't. This I've played uh, about two hours of it, and I I want to play more, but at the same time, I want it to be finished before I play more. It's so it's it's Doom. Doom. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah it, it is a very good boom shoot. It's and fucking it, Uwu Doom. <laughs> as boom shoots go, it's very, very good. It has it's got a, a, a native Linux version, and I, I really like it. I, I Extradium is that kind of game. It's Yes, very doomy, very um, uh, original Wolfenstein-y. Uh, there's no, nothing fancy. There's a lot of secret walls, a lot of wall humping, pressing the use key. But the shooting feels really, really satisfying. And yes, you, you're you shooting cutesy monsters, so what's not to love? <laughs> I mean, it sends the wrong message. If you ever see a Care Bear walking around, don't shoot him. It's probably just... Someone who enjoys dressing up in a fur suit, don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. If I see some like <laughs> care bears walking around, I just assume they're up to something. Yeah, and it's no I, good. I mean, they shoot lasers out of their chest. I wouldn't fuck around with them too much. It's a care bear. Get <laughs> see, wrecked, if they man. shoot first, that's another. <laughs> uh, that's that's another thing. <laughs> they, they, yeah, they give you they give you the fucking care bear stare. <laughs> oh, did you see the uh, llamas with hat re-edit? Yeah, bottled yes. water. Bottle that water. shit was hilarious. <laughs> It is so refreshing, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I posted that in Discord. It was, it was Red way too much. Bottled water. <laughs> oh, yeah, because 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 the original got demonetized. Because it's like you, this is this is not advertiser friendly. It's like okay, here's the advertiser friendly version. <laughs> right. Yeah, of this is better. <laughs> oh, cute woodland animals. Uh, need more tanks. This is a game we're going to be playing this in the after shows. And so, if you want to stick around and join in, it's currently on sale right now. Six ninety nine. Evil one. It does head and stands thirty percent off. We tanks. Not to be confused with we tanks, but it's still we tanks. Soccer. Wee. <laughs> That's right. The football. Yo, motherfucker. Wee. One o four. Crazy new game mode. Oh well, you know what? Uh, that, that remains to be determined. But we're going to try it out. And it's what you think. It's top-down tanks. You shoot, you boop. We got two maps. Not one, but two. Very happy to see that. We got goals. All right. That's nice. Tutorial prologue. A couple other things and then change along. But the big one is, of course, we get a ball to shoot at. And for me, setup's real easy, which was good. He's cleaned up the menu since uh, we reviewed it. Okay. 
You can actually so get into a, a game couple now. of updates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think that's pretty good. I, I look forward to playing around with this. Got multiplayer support, and uh, I really wish I could remember that there used to be. When we're talking like twelve years ago on Linux, there was a three D tank soccer game like this. Hmm. But like Quake Three era graphics type running around. What, what was it like an IO Quake game or uh... no? I could never find it again. It was lost when, what was it, Happy Penguin died. Mm. Might be able to go back and dig that up. But yeah, I, I like that they're still working on this and things are still in development. I couldn't find the way, because we all know that there is a first-person mode in this mm-hmm. game. But it's a secret. Which, you know, if you tell me that secret so we could play it like that, people would <laughs> see it and go, oh, we'd like to go play the game some more. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, come on. It's like, just, just slide my DMs. Tell me the secret. That's all I want. We I did say, uh, in the chairs that, uh, it didn't have to be soccer, <laughs> but it's, you know, new game modes and introducing different game modes. And yes, the soccer one was the obvious one, but you didn't have to make it soccer. But yeah, thank you. Could they, like, could what they did you like? want? No, no, no. Seriously. Did you want like tank high lie? I want I want a tank cricket, like, damn it. I wanted like 15, or... 15 day long tank tank matches. Tank chess. <laughs> tank tank or, chess. Yeah, boxing. No, tank mini golf. Yeah, that no. would work too. Yeah. Have all this. Don't listen to these losers. Tank ice fishing. <laughs> tank dynamite fishing. <laughs> tank oh, tank fencing. hmm Tank tank jousting. Yeah. All right. I, I, extreme tanks TMX. <laughs> Try and do some flips with them. <laughs> <laughs> tanks oh XX8. man bmt <laughs> all right yeah yeah <laughs> coming up next we're gonna give our tanks to you in the in the show segment then we're gonna talk about system 76's very very tanky case much tank the news are coming your way yes as but as is tradition we do need Pizza to news. take a little detour as, as usual not necessarily for pizza although at this hour, oh I no no no, we're, sto- we're stopping for pizza. Yeah, <laughs> we're, 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 we're stopping we stop for, pizza for pizza right now. That's fine. Wait, right, I mean, right, are, right we, are, we, are we going to stop for like pizza, like fucking pizza, like sit down and like wait for it for like forty five minutes and they show up? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. We're, we're going to do little, spend, like, little Caesars, minutes, like soaking the grease off of it. Uh, dude, <laughs> we're going to do like, the little, little Caesars, like five dollar cardboard pizza. Yeah, we can have like crab fights with the tongs. We'll probably get kicked out, but you know. <laughs> ah, uh, Pizza Hut salad bar, the original, the original source of kale. <laughs> okay, well, if you want to buy us a pizza, head on over to patreoncom slash Gamecast. All of your pepperoni support is really appreciated. If you give us your anchovy, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to stop talking about pizza toppings because I'm really hungry now. <laughs> Sign up for our Patreon. Get into our Discord. Uh, you can also get in by subbing to us on Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Gamecast. Speaking of, we got to thank. Uh, Nubbin for increasing his pledge on Patreon and Mir Thank you, for, for uh, resubbing to us on Twitch for 44, 44 months. months. That is man. many, that is 11 fours. That's a lot. Just um, uh, let everybody know we reworked the uh, support page. Everything's just lined up oh, for recurring donations. I even remember we had a Libra base. So if that's your jam, we got one time <laughs> donations, PayPal, Bitcoin. We got all of our wish lists, everything on this one page, including our store. merch store, our Amazon storefront, and uh, humble affiliate. Yeah, we got a merch store, that. Jordan. What? We do, we do have a merch store. I, 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 I always forget to click the Humble affiliate link, but like, do it. It's free money. Like, if you're right. going to buy something off Humble anyways, like, we, we get we get a cut. It's Same like those like Bezo box, man. Yeah. If you're on Twitch. Twitch Prime. Use yeah. a Twitch Prime. Yep. Yeah, but uh, we, we got that store. Buy some LGC t-shirts. Buy some LGC tote bag stickers. We got the Obey hat. Big blue hat stickers. Um, <laughs> empty, empty had a little post that got some traction on uh, our Linux as well. Uh, yeah, so if you if you want to, if you want to uh, display your displeasure to the randos about the the recent uh, CentOS decisions, I don't know what uh, you're talking about. I made this. This is the Obey Me Mode sticker. That's, that's all it <laughs> the is. The big blue hat. Yeah, this is the <laughs> big blue hat. Legally, in this, completely. Dis- I mean, this is the fucking Fargate of things, right there, baby. Yeah, it's even it's facing distinct. the other way too. <laughs> we still we should run like it is Godzilla, though it isn't. Yeah, uh, but as Ben said, we got the wish stones. If you go to the support page. You can take a look at that. You can buy some stuff off there. Uh, you can send us some notes that we have to read for you on the air within reason. If you send Ben some stuff, you get your name in lights on the fuck wall. You also get a special section in the credits where we call you a fucker and 
Fine, yeah, upstanding cannibal. Jordan's just yes. got a potty mouth on him. And hey, if you're a patron, I'll post a video because I got this new micro and I recorded it. I just had the force. I'm like, let's just set this up in case something happens. Not only did it try to attack my foot, but it also knocked. Um, I got the like stack of things that have been sent in with Amazon wish zones. So uh, that got scattered to it. And there's a nice scene of me just going. Okay, fine. The L- L- <laughs> de- de- Defeat 2023. Ladies Still. and gentlemen, we do thank you for your support over all these years. Come hop in our Discord. Come say hi. Come play games with us. Anything else you want to do, leave some comments. Let us know. Spread the distortion. But let's talk about not the Steam Deck version 4. It's a genuine <laughs> Panaphonics. Yeah, the, the not the Steam Deck, and uh, Sony's gonna have a word with you. Uh, GPD, yes, you may remember them. They had the uh, the pocket and the GPD wins. Well, this is the GPD Win Four, which when the uh, screen's not in the up position to reveal the keyboard, it looks very much are, like a PSP. Are, are they gonna uh, have they, a GPD Win Eight, or are they gonna skip that? Do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if they keep going the way they're going, they're probably going to have it in about, I don't know, 12 years. Uh, but yeah, no, they are uh, apparently uh, releasing two different variants of it. One with the 7840 or 7640 and the other one with are, the 6800 U. stuff, Pedro? It has a PC grade large turbo fan. It says right here, this is this is the this is, this is the. <laughs> pinnacle of large turbo I mean, fan it's technology. technically a pc grade apu as it is so large might as well. turbo fan <laughs> but yeah I'm, uh, I'm, it I'm is a large turbo fan of this it is uh very it very much looks like the psp and i wonder if they were waiting for sony to announce their um playstation wii u abomination just to be sure it did the, look the, exactly the, the same yeah uh and uh they have the little comparison um, thing at the bottom of the article. They have the the two versions: the seven, uh, the, seven the Ryzen seven thousand version, the Ryzen six thousand version, along with the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck. Where's the really cheap one? Where's the Ambernick uh, Win six hundred? Ambernick, call me. Uh, that I, I I am curious about that. I genuinely so, am. <laughs> so what, what, what's it, what the other the other kind of interesting thing about this is um, the GPD Win uh, Four already did release a couple months ago, but this is just the line refresh with the fancy new seven thousand series APU. So mm-hmm. if you bought one of those earlier in the year, too fucking bad. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> you got the inferior one. <laughs> I think it's pretty neat. Uh, the physical keyboard is like there's your loophole right there because the common complaint that i've seen with everybody what was asus recently released their business and the the, the rog ally yep. yeah and mm-hmm. people were like hey everyone was discovering uh tablet mode on windows 11's bad it is <laughs> so like one- especially the the armory crate like the rog allies uh ships with mm. that's really bad software asus that's just really bad they're software. working on it man they're working on it listen i mean you know They've had that software, and it's uh, if you have an Asus motherboard, you uh, you can see the option in the BIOS where it just root kits that shit into Windows. How would you put it in there? It's Windows, after all. <laughs> that's that's the only way you can install software on Windows anymore is through a root kit. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome to hell. Welcome to your cloud based OS hell, dude. Um, I I like the idea of a physical keyboard, but um. That just seems like more shit to go wrong. Added cost. I, I kind of miss physical keyboards, but like... I think everybody give, give, does give, until give, you get one in your hands again after yeah, that time, and you're like, no, I don't miss this. Well, no, I'm good. Yeah, I, I guess Blackberries had the thing where it was just like big and chunky when you didn't have to like have the hidden away keyboard. That was one thing I remember with the... Um, what was it? The the G1, I think, was it? The, it was, it was the, the one Motorola? The, yeah, not, yeah. No, not the... Well, the, the the Motorola had one of those as well, but there was like an HTC one that came out first. It was like mm. the very first... Uh, popular or was it like the, one of the first Android phones? Yeah, my first like droid, gen? like that first gen one. Yeah, that slid up and it had the, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And like that was actually LG a had one of those too. That the keyboard was the actually on a transparent piece of plastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a fan of like the 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 touch screen typing. I so I, yeah, me either. Um, That's why you swipe. <laughs> yeah, until until you need a lot of proper nouns, and then you're back to touch screen typing. <laughs> Then I get a keyboard. Then I bring a keyboard in the relationship. If I, if, yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, not 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 a, not an option in all cases. Well, but I yeah. mean, it's not an option for 
basically anyone, period, unless they get one of these. Well, if you're if you're using a handheld, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, the, the Steam Deck has the little uh, trackpads with the, uh, the, un- the admittedly the, like, very intuitive touch typing. <laughs> yeah, the, like uh, like honestly, the 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 Steam on screen keyboard is probably like the best implementation of one I've seen so far, and that is just because it has the the touch pads, right? And you can like yeah. kind of kind of type a little bit. It's not. It's and not you get the same. The but it's, feedback to go along with it too. <laughs> it's it's not quite the same, but it's like it's a lot more usable than like you would think at first blush. Mm-hmm. Right. And there's always voice dictation, and everybody loves it when you're screaming at your mobile. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> in public. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. And then, <laughs> then oh man, the, I remember early early days in like Android voice typing. There were some like questionable show notes paragraphs in there, just like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him take another crack at that one when he gets to a keyboard, because I don't know what he's trying to say here. There's a, it's gotten a lot better, though. You remember like um, the early versions, and we've talked about this a couple of times, uh, closed captioning on uh, YouTube. The oh, automatic closed yeah. Caption. <laughs> yes. You're like, that, that, oh, man, I look forward to Peanut the Dolphin. <laughs> yeah. No. The, 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 the really good one was watching Drunken Orson Welles with the YouTube auto-generated <laughs> subtitles. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, like even our live closed captioning system right now is like, I, it, I'd give it usable accuracy. You know, probably I, I, like, am, I am pretty surprised at how accurate it is sometimes yeah. like these days. That's a good job. So yeah. there you go. If you're looking for, but, uh, you know, if somebody gets one of these, you know, put some Linux on it, let's find out what it does. You yeah, know, install a whole ISO. See if yeah, let us know how the 7,000 APUs actually work. Right. <laughs> That'd be good. So a- AMD, you want to send us the 7,000 series APUs? Yeah, just the APUs. I don't want anything no, else. No, no, no motherboards. No, I, I just want the C, CXX um, module yeah. from the yeah, a bag. <laughs> you, of them. You, you, you don't, you don't even get the pins. You just get the yeah. fucking silicon. That's it. Uh, System seventy six. They have some cases, like PC cases. You have PC cases, don't you? Don't you all have PC cases? I have two. One over there, one over here. <laughs> I'm fucking surrounded by a man. PC I'm, cases everywhere. I, I keep everything on pegboards on the walls because I'm um, extra elite. That's the way you do it. So, they call these series Nebula. Five years of advancements in the Leo engineering packed into a new PC case. Not one, but two, but three from the kind of small, medium size, and one that they are like, hey man, this could be like EATX. What do they say about it? System 76's open hardware PC case is designed for builders to learn from, customize, and elevate their skills. All right. So can we get a look at it? Let me see. Do they have any um, photography graphs on this? There we go. Yeah. So what do we think? What do we think uh, design-wise? Uh, no it looks f- like a System 76. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm looking at there. Uh, it looks like all your airflow is coming in from the side. Let's keep going, though. So, solid front yeah. panel. It's got a button la- on it. La- laser mm-hmm. etched Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, because cosmic or nebula. <laughs> but that's not a nebula. Those are two planets. <laughs> Those are not nebulas. <laughs> Nebulous planets. There's our <laughs> but side they're shot. in space, and there's an astronaut dude. <laughs> so, we got some ventilation for the GPU and CPU up top here. Uh, mm-hmm. Solid panels. These are not see-through. There's the back. It's got some more planets and shit. Some um, rocket ships. Feel yeah. free to quote me on that if you want to put that on your website. Planets and <laughs> shit. Planets and shit. <laughs> um, Philio Pro. <laughs> Scott planets. Bottom shit. intake for some air for GPU cooling. And uh, let's see. What do we get? Uh, 3.5. Front facing Type yeah, C. 235 Type A, Type C. And there's our inside mm-hmm. shot of it right there. And that's when I'm like, okay, you know what? This really does uh look it looks like a solid well-engineered well-built case for pre-builds mm-hmm. is what i came mm-hmm. away with this uh really hits me and i think all of us have dealt with pre-builds for enough in our lives professionally or non-professionally that it kind of hits you you're like yeah look it's like a pre-built case looks like it's well done pre-built case and you know i'm in the market for an eatx case right now because i'm saving my pennies to build an epic pc which you know the one of these cases supports EATX, that uh, ambiguous form factor from motherboard that no one's really sure exactly how big or how small <laughs> it should be. The, the real EATX is in your heart. <laughs> yes, it's the, it's the <laughs> e, ATXs we ate all along the way. I don't know. Some, there's a joke in there. It's the mo- motherboards we blew up along the way. <laughs> so this guy, I don't know if this is the um, 
Nebula 49, but it is the one that supports uh, EATX motherboards. And problem with that, that one seems small. Assuming that's a 120 mil cut out at the bottom for the power supply, that's probably the the either well, the got... medium one or the small one. <laughs> How can you tell, Pedro? Uh, again, if the size of the fan at the bottom is 120 mil across, like most power supplies have, the fans on the bottom are 140s. Um, the cutout at the bottom is for the intake. On, oh, yeah. they they have actual fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an actual fan there. I missed that. <laughs> no, because they have the little cutout for the power supply. It's like okay. So if the, yeah, if those are 140s, it could be the big case. Yes, <laughs> it could be the big case. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Yes, a <laughs> well, little, little bit. Like if we go to components, and this is like one one small little component. We go to shop. This is all we get. If I would say I want this. Uh, for, let's talk about pricing. Nebula 19 yeah. starting at 199, 36. Oh, wow. Now the Nebula 19 is only Mini ITX. Nebula 36 is Mini ITX, Micro ITX, and ATX ATX. Nebula 49 is ATX and bigger than ATX, <laughs> aka EATX sometimes, if you're freaky. So if we click on this, this is the only imaging we get. Yeah, and w so the, the thing that kind of cheeses me is like, well, like, there's a couple things that cheese me. Number one, $330 for a full tower? Are you smoking crack? Can I have some, please? Well, it, hey, man. Does it ship with the cakes? <laughs> no, no, number two, uh, num number two, they give you a bunch of drop downs for like colors and accents. But the fucking picture doesn't update. Dell does this, and it's really useful. If you're gonna like offer cosmetic options for your case, maybe have a bit of a preview or something so that people can actually see what they're buying. I want to see and... something that's a bit more exploded for this because you know, the Nebula 49, which is their big chonker, and I'm like, you know what? Hey, you know, I'm, I'm I've been a fan of System 76, you know, because you want all the Linux vendors to succeed. You just do. And they're trying something different, you know, they're, they're making cases stateside in North America, which that ain't gonna be cheap in the first place, you know, and that's always, but they are also a boutique vendor. When you think about System76, there's a premium that goes with that. I don't know what type of premium you can add with the case, but it sure does look nice. But there's some problems. <laughs> there's some problems, Pedro. There are, <laughs> like, it's limited to a max air cooler height of 123 millimeters. So I got an EATX motherboard, and I need to cool. That's on the uh, the nineteen, the mini ITX only. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the mini ITX only is the one that has the limit of one hundred and twenty three. The yeah. um, the forty nine is one hundred and fifty two, and the thirty six is one hundred and sixty four. <laughs> so the moral of the story is one hundred and sixty five millimeters of clearance is what I need. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's what this guy is that is what you use to cool something that might go in an EATX motherboard ladies and gentlemen this is the Noctua TR4 SP3 it's 165 millimeters height it's not going to fit in any of these cases it doesn't matter <laughs> it's not going to matter there's nothing you can do with it is that, a, is that an air or is that an air cooler that's an air cooler because you're thinking about, the big you're thinking about chunkers like, like the NHD 15. <laughs> why don't you put an AIO in there then? Like a 360 millimeter red. Uh, can't max is 120. <laughs> 120. Mm. That, yeah, that, no, that's the, also a problem. Those cutouts on the side, you could just, you know, make them run a little bit higher and just have the screw holes to mount a 100 or a 240 or a 280 mil radiator on the side. Um... <laughs> Again, epic. 360, Pedro. Let's be right. realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. I'm dissipating a little more heat. <laughs> uh, uh, this is maybe a specialty use case, but when I see an EATX case, I'm thinking like a D7000, D750, something like that. And more yeah, to the point. you're taking something spacious. Big. And this is really what the point I want to get at, because um, there's no way I could be able to, uh, maybe I could build an epic PC, you know, an epic building that it just doesn't look terribly user friendly and here's what i'm saying i think there's a reason that we don't see DIY diy stuff from hp and dell because you know there's lots of engineering that go into these cases like this case here and into dell cases but the diy market 
what are we looking for? We, we want to do our own engineering. We want to do our own experimenting, our own playing around. But then again, the DIY market also wants transparent windows. The fuck did they know? Um, you got to look at it after you set it all up, right? Uh, I <laughs> the guess. The IKEA factor, yes. <laughs> the, you know, maybe in the future we could see something along the lines of, because when I heard about System76, because they've done a lot of like customizable 3D printed stuff and like some great work with like the keyboard and like stuff that you can do with it yourself, you know, after the fact that you can play around with. And I was hoping something more along the lines, like what they're doing over at Inwin with like the modular cases. Mm hmm where you can like mix and match and move them around and do all like, I, maybe we'll see something like that later on in the future. But yeah, as it sits right now, man, uh, they're, they're nice looking cases. They're, they're yeah, spendy, but it really, it really does feel like, Hey, we have a fancy new case for Athelia. You can buy them too. If you want to like have that system 76 look without the system 76. That's, that's it's kind of my feel from this. They're like, we got some extra cases. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. Yeah, the, you can get a three hundred dollar case to go with your three hundred dollar keyboard. But will it be a pyramid though? <laughs> the, fuck, the fucking spiky pyramid. And I mean to like roll back with the argument with that. Like we all have like it might not be a case, it might not be a keyboard, but we all got stupid overpriced shit that we like. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The interface that it's connected to. It's, yeah, it it's makes not, the it's headset sound real good. It's not us passing judgment on you buying it. It's just like the, the the whole the whole proposition, I guess, doesn't appeal to us. But we're not the target market, so I'm, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to figure out what the target market is. Maybe there wasn't one. This was just a like, hey, we got some extra cases. Let's see if people want to buy yeah. them. Maybe, maybe this is just like a hey, let's let's dangle this out and see how people respond. Maybe yeah. we can maybe we can like sell components, standalone components, in addition to being like a PC. What do you look for in a case? I think me and Jordan are probably really similar. Um, you know, bigger the better. Gi gi giant, giant, and empty. like nondescript. Yeah, <laughs> giant, empty, and nondescript. Plenty of room to work with if I want to do a custom. You know, and I'm building stuff in here, but I've had to like shift my mindset to uh, build PCs because I got different requirements as far as like cooling versus noise, mm -hmm. which that becomes an instant pain in the ass. That's why we have things like these ginormous water coolers and water, water cooling. I don't like water cooling, but everything you know, like two of these systems are water cooled. And I'm like, ah, oh, that bugs me. Or like ginormous air coolers. So big fans that spin slowly yeah. don't make a lot of noise <laughs> and have filters everywhere. Yeah. Pedro yeah, likes it's... building little thermal death boxes. I do. I do like building in the more uh, small form factors, but uh, none of the small form factors that I've built in have uh, died of overheating because they usually have really good ventilation. Go figure. They usually <laughs> just even die Nori's PC. <laughs> Nori's PC is the one, the weirdest one, because the motherboard uh, tray is inverted, so it's technically upside down. So you have to use the GPU at the top and force extra air around the GPU to get more air into the rest of the system. Yeah, fan goober, we got it. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I'd, you're going to have a bit more noise in a small case. That's that that's inevitable. <laughs> You could just let the small case run. I built a little tiny, the box that Jordan, I did a live build of that little bastard. Like that thing is <laughs> this big, man. And uh, it just runs hot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have a big case not too dissimilar to that one. It's uh, where the NAS is. And uh, it, it just draws six watts at idle. So it's not that hot. But if it ever is doing something, it's probably going to get very hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at the spec sheets and I was like, when does this thing thermally throttle? 105, usually. <laughs> um, see, uh, this one, the max recommended tip of 5600G is, I think, 80 degrees. So the, since, what's the thermal shutdown? <laughs> didn't, haven't gotten there yet. We'll find out eventually, though. <laughs> fi fi we'll find out right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, NVIDIA open source drivers. What yes. do you think to talk about? Oh, yeah. I mean, for a while it was just Nouveau, and it's like, hey, Nouveau can, like, not run as complete ass. You can get a picture out of the back end of it. Yeah, yeah. You, you, can, you can install your operating system and get mm -hmm. open a web browser to install the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, but yeah, no, now that uh, the NVIDIA driver source is available, they're doing stuff like the GSP firmware that is now being made available to open source developers. Um, there's been work on NVK, which is an open source uh, NVIDIA uh, Vulkan driver for NVIDIA. At the moment, was only supporting uh, Turing GPUs, 
but there's been some updates since the last time Couple, we talked about yeah. this a few months of them. Uh, they were able to uh, hack in support for Kepler and Maxwell GPUs, which is pretty cool. Some Yay! games will actually <laughs> work now. Uh, emphasis on work. The two that they mentioned in the blog post are Hollow Knight and F1. Everyone's testing Hollow Knight. I guess that's just like, that is the new Doom in terms of like, will it run X? Can it run Hollow Knight? You know Can what? It it, it's a very, very pretty 2D game that doesn't require a lot of horsepower. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a good demo game to be like, hey, it works. Yeah, and it, it it requires like precision input and stuff, so like you can't have it's it's very sensitive to Latency, performance drops. Yeah. If, yeah, if, if there <laughs> if there is them, so yeah, uh, so Hollow Knight and F F one work, uh, but like the performance is crap. Uh, that is because the focus has been on the correctness of the implementation and less so on on the speed, which I think is a good approach when you're starting from the ground up. Oh. Currently, uh, the two, a uh, couple of the performance bottlenecks include a ton of stalling and less than stellar memory management until they get the new kernel APIs working. Uh, right now, it only supports Vulkan 1.0, but 1.2 and 1.3 are actually not too far off. They got 60% more of the Vulkan perform conformance test suite to run, which is one of the big roadblocks to actually being considered a Vulkan implementation. You need to actually pass the conformance, te the conformance test suite. Um, but there is still a bunch of work that needs to be done. Uh, there is a new uh, kernel API that needs to be written. There is a compiler being written in Rust for Turing plus GPUs that will speed up shader compilation. It's called Knack. And yeah, they are they are definitely chugging along with this. There's still a lot of like under the hood plumbing to do, especially from like the kernel side. But like considering this kind of started about a year ago, this is pretty awesome progress. That's yeah, really good. <laughs> The um, I, I'm hoping because they did manage to uh, get Maxwell and Kepler going that, you know, older cards make them actually run Vulcan and, or at the very least make Pascal not uh, so eat as much poop with VKD 3D. <laughs> so app apparently the problem with uh, older card support is like the the lack of the firmware availability. There's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. they have to thunk otherwise because they they and how much R and D do you really want to put in that for people's retro gaming machines? At a, at, a, at a certain point, though, it's just like... I mean, <laughs> that's, I'm just saying what it needs to be said there. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, and I'm I, just I saying like, there's an entire segment on YouTube dedicated to that. I would, I would, I would yeah, just let like, them eat cake, and by cake, I mean run Windows. <laughs> I would just like my hardware to work under Linux. Like, because, like, here, here, here's the thing. NVIDIA will pull the plug on hardware support with drivers. We've, we've seen it happen a few times already with, mm -hmm. like, recent cards that launched while we were doing this podcast. And like I'm eyeing my 10 series, like when 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 is that when is that axe gonna fall on it? And I don't want to be stuck on the legacy drivers. I would like to have something reasonably up to date or that has new features or is usable and is not just like a frozen. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely, it's like make sure they're working on the 10 series. But like going yeah. back to the seven series. Oh no, yeah, seven series now. Nah, but like, yeah. There's a lot of people that <laughs> still have. If you look at the um, Steam hardware um survey uh -huh. there's a lot of people still have 750s and uh 770s and 780s there yeah that 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 is a not neg non-negligible segment of the market and not everyone can afford to buy a new gpu even if we're not in the gpu apocalypse anymore so yes then they're just gonna have to do we're what we had GPU to do post back in the days and like not be able to play <laughs> the games that our gpus can't run or if there is a project which could support it and people are willing to then this game's it. gonna run like ass <laughs> for a little bit sure but it might not run like <laughs> ass forever and that if this is going to be entirely open source there's no reason why nvk couldn't run on windows you can get mesa uh, running on um well I, windows. I mean, if, 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 if you want to run on windows if you want directx 12 <laughs> on windows 7 yeah, you need to be you using have to Mesa. use VKD 3D. Yeah, yeah. The, the, there's no other way. <laughs> and if you're using an operating system that hasn't been supported for a decade, how long has Windows <laughs> Seven been out? I, 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 I don't know. I, I could I can say that for a bunch of Linux installs, though. There are some ancient ass Linux installs still kicking around now. <laughs> there's a lot of infrastructure running very old versions of Linux out there. Yes, <laughs> with modern up to date security patches. <laughs> that's what you sometimes think. <laughs> uh well uh controllers they go in blender sometimes yeah. <laughs> open source controllers uh the uh fine fine folks at input labs are 
still releasing progress reports, and they've made some changes, some fairly fundamental changes uh, to the 3D files for the alpaca, if you want to 3D print your own. Uh, they uh, basically restructured all of the models and the refactored the printing instructions to hopefully, you know, make it more to abstract from certain specific printers like they used to do. So now it's uh, hopefully it has has wider compatibility. Uh, there's uh, they've released the beta firmware with a tentative racing profile. They also have a video showing them playing uh, Assetto Corsa. So it, yeah, for people who have been waiting for the um, the gyro enabled racing, that 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 is very much being worked on. And uh, as we mentioned uh, two weeks ago, you can now buy the um, the PCBs directly from them. Uh, it just has the through hole stuff that you will need to solder yourself. Everything else is already soldered on, except for the um, yeah the the through holes and the Pi Pico. You those you'll have to source yourself. It's it yeah no every single time they show something like that like the video and the movements in game basically following the controller. That that's a really good gyro implementation. Good job. <laughs> yeah, no, it really lets gives you that verisimilitude in those racing games. Uh, uh, it seems can, like can, can you honk the horn though with the with the middle button? <laughs> bum, that's, bum. That's... <laughs> Just bind a button to it. I'm sure. That's I fun. think at the end of the day, when I when I see this, I'm like, man, your arms are getting tired. <laughs> eh, some people really do play with the controller like floating around. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I used to do that when and I was some younger. Some people like Nickelback. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I get it. I used to do that when I was younger, but nowadays, no, I gotta rest my uh, my forearms on the desk. I mean, it's I, not I too bad. You gotta like a wheel to like hold on to. Or um, on 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 the on the switch too. Like the gyro aiming isn't bad because you use it for like minor corrections, so you're not like mm, this is more like a little wrist movement or anything like that. But like. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. You you have more experience with the alpaca than I do, but like, I think I would be frustrated to high hell having to like gyro maneuver constantly. But it's uh it, like the the sync controller before it. It comes down to uh, getting used to it, habit. Mm. Uh, it, it, a lot of people say that yes, once they got used to the gyro aiming, now it's the best thing ever. Uh, and I can see that. I can absolutely see that. The thing with the Compared alpaca to the, regular controller uh, aiming, yeah, yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> obviously. Saving We're talking about controllers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about controller. <laughs> Settle down, comment section. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is uh, like the alpaca for me specifically. If um, because I use my mouse on the left hand, so like the. Picking up the mouse and moving it back to the center of the desk, that kind of ratcheting motion, I, that's a left hand thing. So since the alpaca in its current stand has the uh, the gyro activation bit just for the uh, conductive PLA on the right, now you can actually set the, uh, the button, which is something that I have yet to try, but you can bind a button to enable the gyro. So it works a lot better with whatever hand you have that muscle memory with. So what if we just put a gyro in the mouse? Well, that 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 would give it an extra degree of <laughs> motion. Now, now, and now I think now I just up. want a hero. I want, I want I want like some some shredded meat in in a pita bread. Is he talking about gyros? No, oh. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was not thinking about food. <laughs> I'm always thinking about food. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up next is a story from the fine folks at Google. Oh, yes. So, you know, this is going to be a long standing thing that is no, coming. No, uh, this page is going to 404 if I get to the bottom of it. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, this, this comes from uh, gamedeveloper.com. Links to all this stuff is in our show notes. But, report YouTube, Google is experimenting with instant games on YouTube. Because YouTube, or Google, rather, has acquired a company in the past called Game Snacks, which makes uh, small HTML5 games. They have a current one out that's basically, like, Breakout, uh, or Brick Breaker, breaker whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, but uh, it seems like this is not going to be, like, Stadia, where they're trying to give you, like, whole-ass games. These are more like CoffeeBreak.com-style light break games. 
Kind of stuff like uh, there's already snake in YouTube, right? Like if you're waiting for the thing to buffer, you can play snake in the in the uh, in the window. So it's gonna be it's gonna be more stuff like this. Oh, it's 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 a it's a matcher. Okay, um, my bad. But yeah, these these are uh, it's, it's basically they're basically like Facebook games. They're tr they're thinking about integrating these into YouTube. And like we have seen a lot of cool like gaming browser tech emerge. Like that is not just game streaming related. Um, there was that, uh, there was that game we talked about a couple weeks ago from that, uh, X, uh, X, uh, Twitter engineer this who's like new grounds at level shit. I mean, it, it's straight up new grounds, but like, if you got, if you got like five minutes to play a game on your coffee break or whatever, this can, this can be, this could be it. Right. Like, and having Google put some money into this field for like three years could result in some overall progress before they shelf it. Maybe there's going to be some, some developments that other people can use when Google loses interest and other people carry on the actual work. Flappy yeah, flap ball. <laughs> they did promise uh. the, um, <laughs> when they announced Stadia, they did promise there was going to be a feature where you could be watching someone play a game and then click on a link and immediately, you know, get into game exactly where um the video was and i that, saw and this and i'm like that's how i beat ooh. elden ring <laughs> I, I, I waited until someone was about to kill the final boss and then i jumped in there and now i won yeah so uh, that feature that was supposed to have been a part of the study is it finally done is that is that what they're doing and um <laughs> if that's the case did the <laughs> did the dev threaten to kill someone at google <laughs> if this was scrapped before it was even released is that what happened? <laughs> I don't know, but you gotta admit, even back then when they announced it, if they could ever bring that, because being able to jump into a game at the point that you're watching it in a video would still be cool as hell. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That That's, would I, actually be I, really cool. <laughs> I, I, I it might might be science fiction, but it would be cool. Um, it might be science fiction, but like we're doing sci-fi, but we just keep on taking it. I'm like, holy shit, dude. We're watching. You're like watching a video. They got like a good squad-based multiplayer thing going on. I'm like, oh, look at this fuck fuck box. Hey guys. Come on, let's go pop into this moment right now and see if we can get out of it. See, that would that would be kind of neat if you could like extract game state seeds or whatever and like populate. You, have to. you just click play on the video and you're done. Mm -hmm. it loads instantaneously. Start playing. Uh, uh, sure, that, that was that was the promise. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's sci-fi we're talking about, man. Yep. You get a roll. Play, play <laughs> the game. Yep. Yeah, you, you plug it in the back of your head. You jack into the matrix. Uh, Car Carrie Ann Moss finally kisses you, and uh, yeah. Do you think that's impossible on technical level, Jordan Swing? Uh, I think it would be incredibly difficult to pull off. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I think it's infeasible given where Google we are. Google size, right now. budget, abilities, yeah. talent. Yeah, ab abilities. Yeah, they would need to actually like spend time and develop this and not wait three years and kill it. So mm. that's the thing. They kind of put they already killed Stadia it out this there. Is... They proved that it was possible to have everything running in their own infrastructure so that was like three steps away from happening <laughs> i don't know may, may, maybe but like getting the actual like specific game state that would be oh. well this is operating under the assumption that like you know with like if the games had to be designed for stadia right mm -hmm. yeah and yes if, if if the game is designed with this this feature in mind sure but again i'm thinking of like El Elden Ring was the example I pulled out of my butt because, like, yeah, I want I want to drop into getting murdered by a crap or something. This would be Stadia Ring. It'd be like Flappy basketball. Smelden Ring. Yeah. <laughs> t t t tappy Tappy. What, what, what's the? Tarnished? I don't know. Listen, tappy tarnished? We'll, we'll, we'll just basic on Pinocchio or something like that. Yeah. Don't worry about that. <laughs> George R. R. Martin will still never finish it. It's fine. Oh man, they should team up and make a new fantasy game that never will get finished. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, game streaming is eventually they're 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 going to make it happen no matter not if we it's, it's coming, guys. And yeah, I want it to be better than worse. And you know, to George's point, listen, you don't really have to worry about anything with Google. They're an advertising company, hundred percent now, and they just kill shit. So mm -hmm. if, if if it's not gangbusters, like again i'm 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 looking at google docs being like when are they gonna kill it i i don't think they could kill google docs at this point that would be like they them would get search. sued <laughs> i don't think so they'd get sued i think there would be riots yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I think at that point it would be like them killing search. Like that that is kind of a core Google product that they just can't get well, rid of. Well, you know it's core because it's something that you can give um Google money for and they'll give you yes. support. Mm, that, that's a fair point. They were doing that with Stadia well, though, and they still Yeah, you it. could pay them for Stadia every month. You could pay them X and um they still fucking kill it. <laughs> Well, Stadia was like one of the most recent ones, though. Stadia was large enough to where, you know, you had the like, okay, they're spent. You know, okay, in the back of your head, you're thinking, will they kill something after spending this much money on it? I don't think so. Google's like, watch this. Hold, <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> hold my billion dollar bank Let's account. <laughs> light it up, man. All right. <laughs> Well, I think that's going to do it for us. Coming up next, Joe is very impressed with my microwave, and we get kicked in the head. It's the end. And if you two would not like to uh, resolve this integral function in order to provide us with some feedback, there's a much, much easier way to do it. It still may involve some maths some basic comprehension of the English language, but that is no, 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 no whoa, calculus. Whoa, you debatable. Comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> you could just, you know, do the thing in good linuxgamecast.com, hit the contact button. There's a form. There's stuff you should read before the form, but if you don't and your message doesn't get to us, then you know it will be entirely your fault. Okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, we, we, yeah, we got we got a couple uh, pieces of hate mail up first. Uh, we have Joe, who's very happy. He says, great show. Love the chit chat about Intel Arc. Jordan, good luck with the new microwave. Keep up the great work, guys. And I do agree with the hate mail comment. You guys have a great vibe working with each other. So I don't think Joe listens to the show. I, uh, I, 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 I don't know. Like, yeah, he's, 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 he showed up for, <laughs> her, for live streams and like he played games with us. Uh, yeah, it usually uh, is there for the after show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, the, the, uh, yeah. I mean, he he could just be like row hitting his way in there. Like, hey guys, what's it's, up? It's, it's it's just an elaborate gaslighting campaign. That's all it really is. It's like, are are we actually a, a good podcast? I I don't know. <laughs> yeah, let, let let's just tell them that they're good. And see how long they keep this going. Oh man, uh, I could just imagine Joe just just having like. Mani- maniacal cackling is like, yeah, yeah it's just, just all going to plan. Can't, can't, can't type this with a straight face. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, took, it took him okay. like eight tries. <laughs> look at, look at Rohan. He's like, wait, what? I don't know. All those years you just miraculously show up at midnight? Come on. Mm-hmm. Huh? <laughs> it has happened more than once. It's like, hey, you guys play the was... Rocket League, huh? Hey. Mm-hmm. That's Ladies just called and... being a crack addict, though. Hey. <laughs> This is true. Uh, thank you, Joe. We do seriously appreciate you watching it. And, you know, we get along better than a lot of people I know in real life. So I'll just go ahead and say that. Better than some married couples, yes. <laughs> better, better than the cast of Mythbusters. In world. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fair. fair. M- maybe not as good as the, uh, what was the motorcycle one? Uh, with the, oh, uh, Orange County Chop. Orange County Chop. <laughs> yeah. we, 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 we just embody the fucking <laughs> <laughs> that, that point though like it's iconic at that point uh Rick, Ricard Richard right so, Rich, so, Richard so, Jean, Jean so we were talking about kick uh it, I, why do I I never want to call it kick I want uh anyway kick.com is the Twitch clone <laughs> it's subsidized and he writes and he's like check this out it's subsidized online gaming yeah we covered that uh Twitch needs a competitor is Amazon any better though than gambling. Like, I mean, I was gambling on that motherboard showing up intact, so I lost. <laughs> I'd say they are just as bad in different aspects. So, like picking the better of two evils. Uh, Kick mm-hmm. is offering a 95 5 subscriber rev split compared to Twitch's 50 50. Big streamers are moving over. Are you trying how to sell long is us that going to last, Kick? though? <laughs> yeah, how long is that split going to last? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty scared. People are going to stop gambling online, they're going to run out of money. Oh no. <laughs> Pokerstars.net, baby. I I don't know. I, I don't think, you know, gambling online is going to go away anytime soon. So if you're going to pick a source of revenue, that that one's probably But like it's I don't yeah, want to say uh, good, but <laughs> Like I, I don't, It'll I don't necessarily there. think the the risk is like the money running out. The risk is like this is what all these things do. They'll all these companies do. They offer you really a really good split early on, and they're like, mm-hmm. 
we're renegotiating. Unless you have like a specific contract with us, everyone is getting getting the reduced split. No, like the- I do want to point this out. I, I've been trying to keep track of Kick um, just out of curiosity. Kick has got a thing now where they will give you a salary. Mm. I, I remember. T- I remember Twitch is trying something like that too, where they were like offering if if you if you roll if you rolled commercials, they gave you like a minimum payment every. Oh month. no, this isn't. This is dependent on how many hours you stream. Like this is mm. legitimate. Like you get a set okay. check every and. But I don't know. Like maybe we're just too old for kick. I, well, that's I, I the thing. Because uh, kick, besides the the gambling and the video games, it also has other things like full on nudity. Which are technically allowed on the website, not porn, nudity. <laughs> well, I, for, for me, I think it's just more like, who the fuck do I watch that's actually on Kick? And at the moment, it's no one. So, yeah, I've I'd, been to Kick, I think, how many times have we looked at it? Like twice? Cl- classic network effects, right? And to Pedro's point, I always like to Google check these things. Uh, they don't, uh, they're for increasing moderation of nudity and sexual content. Oh, okay. That's changed now. All right. <laughs> they're trying to clean up their act, Pedro. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. So now they gotta, that they're they going all professional, like, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, it's it's the tale as old as time. Like, yeah. I I don't I don't think Kick is going to be any better or and well, it can it can certainly be worse, but I don't think it's going to be any better than Twitch. Mm. Yeah, and they're like, clearly trying to you know ape Twitch. Oh, oh. They're, they're they're definitely <laughs> trying to snipe snipe it, but like. Okay, here, here, here's the one thing to think about, though. Twitch has been stagnant, and we, we've seen, like, to what Jordan said, like, yeah, they, they've already started leaning into the, like, all right, let's do the evil thing now. And, because uh, they've had no competition. Like, YouTube's not competition for Kick. I mean, not Kick, but uh, Twitch. It's just not. Like, YouTube's had streaming for, since, like, what, 2016. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They haven't put a dent with, like, their live streaming. They have better tools. Like, it's a better experience to stream on uh, YouTube, but no one's there. Because people don't go on YouTube to watch streams. So, <laughs> you know, the I'm glad Kek exists. Even so much of it forces Twitch to, like, go, oh, we, we might have to, like, quit being dicks. <laughs> Slight, be slightly less dicks slightly less for dicks. now. Fair enough. <laughs> until, yeah, until be the epic uh, to Twitch's Valve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, epic doing that push which just puttered immediately out but it got valve moving again didn't it nice, oh yeah nice we, were, hey, we, we have a new steam ui new have, yeah. yeah so good things can come from it again if you want to write in leave a comment leave a post on patreon and uh anywhere we're at we're even on odyssey or whatnot or please use the contact form at reply us in discord and all the other usual places ladies and gentlemen dms on kick we have a kick page too <laughs> with nothing on it but you can't have it it's ours just in case ladies and gentlemen you can always find this nightmare train pulling out of the station 8 30 eastern time right here at twitch.tv forward slash letting cast come check out a live show if you've never done it because i know there's somebody out there listening it's like i've listened to every episode and i've never tuned in live because i've been that person with other shows just stop and say hi you want to get in touch with me at vin stone on twitter at vin on our federated timeline mass.linuxgamecast.com and other places where uh you might not expect me to be. Like, I don't know. I'm Jordan. I am master of Taekwon Leap. You can see my wild kicks at Mastodon at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Uh, I don't know about Twitter no more because they're, uh, they're uh, starting to rate limit stuff, but you can follow me for the meanwhile at the Burning Fool there or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Yes, you can find me being rate limited on uh, twi- uh, Twitter because, yeah, that's the only uh real social media that i use anymore and once that goes i genuinely don't know i might start using mastodon more so it's at unaccounted for with the number four on mastodon at mastodonlinuxgamecast.com or f-o-u-r on twitter i think a pro tip for that is a tweet deck no doom scroll yeah (laughs) don't scroll just let it go (laughs) it'll auto scroll for you remember when g plus used to do the get off our lawns time for some credits Uh, r.i.p g plus once again pour one out just Just like the pickle barrel bring that back google and all will be forgiven for like a week (laughs) until you kill it again yes
It's back from the dead for five minutes. We gotta Thanks. thank our advisors. We gotta thank Omegas, Artheron, and we gotta thank our executive producers scrolling into the spaces. They're Bob Ramp, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Drummer, Pebble, Tomash, Hakim, David, and E. Shep. And plenty of Chicago's, plenty of kick, and plenty of ass. Super Dust, Stoat, MT, Glory, Sag, Roland, Buzz, FEMA. With the Sea Monsters, Renault, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Very Sanuda, Justin, Nubbin, Darkwing, System D, Danzing, Joe, Ogi One, and Kyrillo. Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romero, Marcin, Renee. I can use some help. Steven, Dirty Dean, Back, Turnover, Foxy, <laughs> Spy, and Chris, Steven B, Dirty Dean, Back, Gamatron, Dodgers, Etherus Gaming, Rue, Turnover, M. Fox, a Dog, Sly, Orn, Hope, Jamur, Piper, and our medic. Colin, Enmag, Mascot, Douglas, Ramzalada, Thomas, Steve, Steve, put the echo more fact. Steves. <laughs> It's uh, just Dino, be there's Steve's like three Steves week. there. Yeah, <laughs> Steve, 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 and Steve. <laughs> and don't forget Steve. Uh, Graph, Euphanasia, Kaijore, and N6, and these fuckers. Fine upstanding animals. Thank you all for your support. It is uh, Steve's all the way. You are all down. truly wonderful. Man, that's, that's what we should do for an April Fool's is just replace them all with Steve. <laughs> Steve, 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 Steve. <laughs> Steven. Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> Steve, no, no trailing E. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next week. Stevs. Five dudes.